Hey, what's going on comic readers? This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and this video is brought to you by frankiescomics.com, a great source for store exclusive variants and all your comic book issue needs. In this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. Huge week for comics, so let's not waste any time talking about it, and let's get into the picks. Kicking the week off from Dark Horse, we got Manor Black number two. Love the first issue, written by horror master Cullen Bunn, and this one's gonna have two different covers for it. It's gonna have a regular cover by Tyler Crook, as well as a regular priced variant by Jill Thompson. Next from Dark Horse, we get Tommy Gun Wizards number one. That's right, we're talking about Elian Ness and Al Capone. If you've seen the movie The Untouchables, then you know all about this, but this book takes things in a different direction, and we're talking about a drug called Lick, that grants magical powers. And this comic's also gonna have two different covers. We have a regular cover by Christian Ward, as well as a regular priced variant by Declan Shelby. And from DC this week, we get Batman the White Curse number two. Joker has his new recruit, Nazrio, and they're aimed fully at destroying Batman and the Wayne family. This also is gonna have two covers, regular cover by Sean Murphy, as well as a regular priced variant by Sean Murphy. Next from DC, we get Batman Superman number one. Batman and Superman team up to take on a threat that could strike anywhere, and one of their fellow heroes has been transformed into a horseman of their most dangerous foe. This is gonna have four different covers for it. There's a David Marquez Batman cover, a David Marquez Superman cover, a regular priced Lionel Francis U variant, as well as a blank variant, and our sponsor, frankiescomics.com, has a fantastic Francesco Mattina variant available on their site right now. Flash number 77. This contains the death of the Speed Force story. If you watch these videos or watch any video on my channel, then you know that I'm a huge fan of this Flash run. And I've been still enjoying it, and this is going to have two different covers for it. This is going to have a regular Rafael Sandoval cover, as well as a Year of the Villain variant by Yasmin Putri. Justice League Dark number 14. Justice League Dark wants to keep the peace in the magical world, but Cersei has other plans as she takes center stage in this issue, and it's gonna have two different covers. There's a regular Gala March cover, as well as a Year of the Villain variant by Clayton Crane. I like that Clayton Crane variant, so that's the one I'll be picking up on this issue. Justice League number 30. This is gonna kick off the Justice Doom War. The Lex Luthor that the League has fought and known is no more. We now get the Apex Predator Lex Luthor powered by Perpetua, with the goal of bringing DC Universe to its knees. This has a regular cover by Francis Manipole, as well as a Year of the Villain variant. Wonder Woman number 77. Now last, last time I spoke of Wonder Woman, we talked about Cheetah and how she's appearing in the new upcoming Wonder Woman movie. But in this issue, Cheetah gets her hands on the God Killer Sword. The sword that can lay waste to entire armies. This is also gonna have two different covers. You have a regular cover by Jesus Marino. There's a regular cover by Jesus Marino, as well as a Year of the Villain variant. G.I. Joe Real American Hero number 266. Now, if you watch any of the other shows on this channel, we have the Bolo Show, Hot and Cold. Jack DeMeo, AKA Mr. Bolo and I have been talking about this, and it is the Snake Hunt. Here we get the Battle of Snake Eyes, and it's gonna have four different covers. It's got a regular cover by Robert Atkins, a regular priced variant by Jamie Sullivan, an incentive variant by Neto Diaz, as well as an incentive variant by John Royal. Also from IDW this week, we get Mountainhead number one. Here we have Abraham Stubbs and his father Noah roaming America in a nomadic existence, burgling houses, doing whatever they can to survive. And we also have a lone survivor from a mountain climbing expedition covered in blood, trying to stagger his way home. Both of them are on a collision course to run into each other. And we can only imagine what will happen when they do. This is written by John Lees, who also wrote the hit comic book series from Comics Tribe it called Sync. So no stranger to horror adventure comics. And this one I'm definitely looking forward to picking up. It's going to have two different covers for it. We have a regular cover by Ryan Lee, as well as an incentive variant by Ryan Stegman. Next up, we have one of the hottest comic series right now, and we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number, 90, issue number 97. Everyone's following Jenica and the new female turtle, wondering, is she here to stay? What's going on with her? But we're getting further and further into that story arc, and number 97 comes out this week, and it's gonna have three different covers for it. We get a regular cover by Dave Wachter. There's a regular price subscription variant by Kevin Eastman, as well as a one in 10 incentive variant by Corey Smith. Also, if you're looking for great store exclusive for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, check out our sponsor site at frankiescomics.com. There's a fantastic 
Del Auto Store exclusive up there right now for issue number 98. Still available in trade dress and virgin variants. And from Image Comics this week, we get Ice Cream Man number 14. Great horror anthology series. If you aren't reading this, I highly suggest you do. It's one of my favorite titles, especially from Image and in comics in general. And this is going to have two different covers for it as well. We get a regular cover by Martin Morazzo, as well as a regular price black and white variant by Paul Rentler. Getting into Marvel this week, that's right, we get the return of one of the best comics out right now, and we're talking about Absolute Carnage number two. First issue was double size, 60 pages, one of the most gorgeous comics I've read in a while, and we get issue number two out this week with seven different covers. We have the regular cover by Ryan Stegman, a regular priced action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, a regular, a regular priced Ron Lim variant, a regular price connecting variant by Kyle Hotz, a regular price Young Guns variant by Marco Cicchetto, an incentive Cult of Carnage variant by Chris Anka, and an incentive Codex variant by Marcos Martin. Also tying into Absolute Carnage, we get Absolute Carnage Miles Morales number one. I'm not huge on tie-ins, but I do love Miles Morales, so I have it in this video. This is gonna have six different covers for it as well. We get a regular cover by Clayton Crane, a regular price connecting variant by David Nakayama, a regular price Young Guns variant by Javier Garon. We get an incentive variant by Emanuela Lupacino. There's also a one in 50 incentive variant and a one in 100 virgin variant for this. I actually like the one in 25 Lupacino variant, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Keeping with the fantastic story that Jonathan Hickman's writing right now, we get House of X number three between House of X and Power of X. Every week we're getting a blockbuster X-Men story, and that's coming from a person who's never been a huge X-Men fan. Great read. This issue is going to have eight different covers for it, starting with the regular cover by Pepe Loraz, regular price action figure variant by John Tyler Christopher, regular price flower variant by Sarah Pacelli, regular price character decades variant by Jeff DeCall, one of my favorite artists in the business, a regular price connecting variant by Mahmoud Azrar, a regular price baby variant by Scotty Young, there's also a Mike Huddleston variant, as well as an Incentive Virgin variant. Next, we get another big kickoff, and we're talking about Marvel Comics 1000 number one. To celebrate Marvel's 80th anniversary, it's assembled the butts, a bunch of talent for one for a great. It's assembled a bunch of great Marvel talent to contribute to this awesome story. This is gonna have a bunch of different covers for it. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about each one. I will show the art up on the screen for you. Wow, you enjoy this music. Dun dun dun! My favorite cover out of all of them, of course, no stranger to this channel. I am a huge Disney fan and I love that D23 Expo one, except it's kind of hard to get your hands on right now. So hopefully one day I will be able to get a copy of that. Next this week from Marvel, we get Marvel Monsters number one. Someone is doing horrible things to the Marvel Monsters and only Kid Kaiju can help. This is gonna have two different covers for it. It's got a regular cover by Nick Bradshaw, as well as a regular price variant by Superlog. Next, we get Spider-Man Velocity number one. This is the first spin-off story from the Spider-Man Gamerverse, and it's gonna have four different covers for it. It's got a regular cover by Scan, a regular price variant by Gabriel Del Otto, a regular, a regular price retro game variant, as well as a one in 25 incentive variant by Adi Grenoff. Next, we get Star Wars Galaxy's Edge number five. As I said, I'm a huge Disney fan, 
and this title takes place in the new lands that are both in Disneyland and Disney World and Dark Spire Outpost. This issue is also going to have the notorious Red Fury Stormtroopers. It's going to have a regular cover, but one you want to be on the lookout for is that 1 in 25 incentive variant. Past couple issues, that 1 in 25 has taken off. So if you can get your hands on that, definitely pick it up. Next, we get Thor number 16. This kicks off the final Thor story for Jason Aaron. It's going to have three different covers for it. We have a regular wraparound cover by Mike Domundo. This is a regular price Bring On The Bad Guys variant by Will Sliney, which I haven't been able to find the art for, so I apologize for that, as well as a Marvel 80th frame variant by Mike McCone, which is regular priced as well. Venom number 17, another one of the hottest titles. Seems like Marvel has a bunch of hit titles right now, and Venom is definitely one of them. With Carnage out on the loose, Venom must protect his son, Dylan. There's gonna four different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Kyle Hotz, a regular price Bring on the Bad Guys variant, a regular price Marvel 80th Frame variant by Lee Garbett, as well as a one in 25 incentive codex variant by Dave Johnson. From Boom Studios this week, we get Once in Future number one second print. This is hands down my pick of the week. Really love the first issue on this, no doubt. I mean, it's all plastered all over the channel. We've talked about this time and time again. Had our interview with the Rune Singh, the VP of Marketing. But fantastic issue, second print. Going to be hard to find. This was heavily allocated on people's diamond orders. Very low print run. I would be surprised if the print runs over 1500 on this. So if you see this out there, make sure you get your hands on it. Great story. And this book is really taking off on the secondary market. So this is the book to get. The book of the week, my pick of the week. So definitely pick this up if you can. So there you have it guys, these are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, August 28th, 2019. Once again, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, frankiescomics.com. They got a bunch of great store exclusives and regular comics as well. So if you're looking for that hard to find comic, can't find it anywhere else, check frankiescomics.com. He might have it up there for you. But it's time for the question of the day. Disney Plus, do you plan to subscribe to that streaming service? or not? I think you know my answer to that question, huge Disney fan, so I am definitely looking forward to subscribing. All types of shows coming on there, you got the original shows, you got all types of Disney content, you got all types of Fox content coming to there, as well as National Geographic, so I'm super excited. Launching in November, Disney Plus, but let me know if you plan to subscribe to it. And with that being said, I'm Brian from Simple Man's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.